from ManifestationBabe.com and I am here to bring you some real talk. So it's going to get really exciting today. It's all mindset stuff, all stuff I'm really passionate about. If you're an entrepreneur, if you are someone who's doing something incredible with their lives or at least trying to, then today's live chat is for you let me tell you so good morning good morning loves i love you so much i realize that i say that i love you so much all the time but i really do i really appreciate connecting with you guys every single day okay so i am ready to bring you babes some real talk today and this real talk isn't like me like preaching at you or anything it's just i have noticed that throughout my life I have come across kind of these five truths that um, will relate and pertain to anyone in any industry doing anything. And it mainly is, you know, if you are choosing to become successful and you want to become the best version of yourself and you want to up level your life and live up to your potential, then you're going to come across some things, right? I know a lot of us are already coming across some sort of opposition, some sort of like, uh, like signs of giving up, like things get hard sometimes, we don't know what's going on. And so some people think that they are receiving signs to give up and they do end up giving up. And so today is kind of, um, I realize that one of my biggest strengths is that I never give up. Like I am always persistent and consistent and perseverant and I will fucking get the job done even if I hate it, like I just like, if I have, if there's a will, there's a way, I'm just so like go big, go home, like there is a solution to this. And so I kind of want to share with you babes, um, these five truths that I have learned. And as I up level, so my life has did a complete 180 since this time last year, you know, like this time last year, I was pursuing, well, maybe a little bit before I was pursuing um, a business in a network marketing company that I just wasn't as passionate about anymore. I was moving to LA. I had nowhere to live. Um, I was trying to live with my dad, big mistake, because I didn't have enough money for rent at the time. Like, there's no way I was gonna afford, like you guys, rent in LA is hilarious. Like, <laughs> like um, my boyfriend works in Santa Monica and our goal is to move to Santa Monica next year um, when this lease is up. And pr like, literally a one bedroom is like three and a half thousand to 4,000 a month. Like. Okay, so rent's a little ridiculous and it's okay because um, you can afford whatever the fuck you want to afford and if you want to live in Santa Monica, you just up level your life and you ask for that money and you work for that money and you manifest that money and you up level and you get there, right? Like, like very simple to say, right? But also, if you follow, like if you just... If you're just consistent and persevering and persistent and you do not give up and you work every single day on your dreams like that that's that's what makes you succeed right and so a lot of people yeah Angelica hi I'm like totally missing all the comments right now because I'm getting into this already um, Angelica yeah rent is just like woo but whatever okay oh yeah so I was talking about where I was before so no way I could spend money on rent my uh, money that I was making was like nothing. I was still in debt about like 20,000 at the time. And so it was just like crazy, crazy times. And so over the last year, like my life looks completely different. And I've realized that it's been a year of up leveling, a year of growth, a year of just crazy shit happening. And so I just want to come on here and encourage you babes because I have seen it all in the last year. Like up leveling is fucking scary. Growth is scary. If you're being called to a big purpose and a big desire, let me tell you, not the universe but circumstances you can't control will test you every damn day and the biggest mistake that I see babes making is they take it as a sign to give up like the universe is giving me a sign to give up maybe it's not my dream blah 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 and they end up giving up and it's like the biggest mistake and let me tell you there is no person that ever achieved anything great in life without that huge opposition and those big like kind of tests and those you know they they didn't get there without doing a lot of growth and so 
I just have some tips for you babes today to just kind of help you and encourage you to know that what you're going through is normal. It is completely normal and what to expect. And here's the things that I went through in the last year and this is what you're gonna expect too. And, um, and just know that no matter what, you're gonna be successful. Like if you just stay the fucking course, you will get there. You'll get to the other side and you're going to look back in your life and be like, holy shit, I am so glad I didn't listen to anyone. I am so glad I worked on my mindset. I'm so glad I made the investment. I'm so glad I did this. That was scary as fuck, but I did it anyway. Okay. So here's the truth. Number one, other people will get really uncomfortable with your growth and who you surround yourself with matters. Okay. So here's the deal. When you are ready to embark on a journey, on a self-improvement journey, other people around you are going to start noticing. They're going to start seeing your self-help books. They're going to be like, uh, you spend how much on this course? You spend how much on this thing? What seminar? Oh, are you going to a seminar for losers? All that stuff that I heard, right? Like I heard so much slack for you spent how much to go to Tony Robbins and et cetera, et cetera. So people are gonna start noticing and um, sometimes it's hurtful. Sometimes these friends come with us, right? Either way, when people see that you are up leveling your life and you are on this path to greatness, they're going to get uncomfortable because it forces them to look at their lives too. So it's not that they're a bad person, you are better than them or anything. It's just that some people aren't ready for that kind of growth yet. And so therefore they look at you and they're like, shit, like if uh, Catherine's doing this, that means like I gotta look at my life. And when people are very resistant to your self-improvement journey, it just means that they're not ready for their growth. And I just wanna mention something really important. And um, I know this is very controversial and some people like my boyfriend at first was like okay you're crazy and that's like ridiculous but um, I truly believe that if a friendship does not serve you please cut it off okay so my boyfriend has this like close tie with his college friends and like they have like they still hang out like college friends that was like him like eight years ago. Um, they still have this like tie together and they love each other and whatever and like that's totally cool. But I have literally, I don't talk to anyone I went to college with. I don't, I literally keep no ties with anyone I went to high school with really, except for the people I've reconnected with through Manifestation Babe. So a lot of you, uh, not a lot of you, but some of you in here like knew me back in high school, knew me back in college and stuff. So hey, like I know I'm different now, but I literally don't have that many friendships, right? It's not that like I don't like people. Yes, I'm introverted. Like I'd rather not talk to people, you know, like I'd rather not go and mingle with people, but I'm very friendly. I'm very open. I'm very warm and welcoming. Like I know I'm a good person. I'm fun to hang out and stuff, but I am very, very, very picky with who I spend the most time with because there's a quote and this is so true. And this is the cause of self-sabotage. Okay. Um, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Now you probably heard that quote a zillion times in self-help books. That's not my original statistic. Like that's totally coming from many, many books. Right. But I thought about it and, um, the quote goes to say like income wise, um, what you end up doing, who you end up marrying, like all these things, like you basically like there's also another quote that says if you are surrounded with if your friends are um if you're surrounded with five broke people you're probably the sixth kind of thing something like that and it is really really true because here's the deal when people are in groups they want to be the same they want to fit in they want to be accepted and if one person goes you know up the ladder or decides to make their lives better or decides to start a business or decides to do something amazing the other friends are going to look at that friend and that friend like if you're that friend who is embarking on the self-improvement journey and all of a sudden your group of friends are looking at you like what the fuck are you doing or like they start to get threatened and our ego is very susceptible to stoop back down to the level of our peers because back in the day, two million, whatever million years ago, like I just hated history, I hated like all those things. I don't know how old the earth is exactly, like whatever. But 
the millions of years ago when we just started as humans or thousands of years ago, whatever, okay. So we were in tribes, right? Or like caveman tribes or whatever. Like we depended on other people for our survival. And back in the day, you wanted to fit in because fitting in meant you got to eat, you got to mate, you got to feel loved. Like it was survival, right? In order to fit in. Nowadays in modern day times, like you can have zero friends and still survive. You can still go to work. You don't have to be friends with your coworkers. You can start a business. You know, you probably want to be a friendly person because in business, like you're your the the money is coming through people right so you want to have those kind of you you got a network in business but you're still gonna survive you're still gonna have your house you're still gonna have your refrigerator you're gonna have food you can go to a restaurant i've seen people eat alone at restaurants like you are fine right in modern day times fitting in is not that big of a deal for survival but our egos freak the fuck out and so instead of um you know being surrounded by the same people who are not letting you grow, instead choose new peers who force you to grow even more. So I, when I learned that, I started looking for other successful people, other entrepreneurs, who scares the fuck out of me that I need to surround myself with because I know that if I'm surrounded with this person, I'm gonna have to force myself to make more money to, um, to be a better person, to be more influential in order to fit in with that peer group, right? And that's way better than stooping down and um, doing nothing, right? Like just whatever, whatever the other peer group does. And so I am very like not afraid to cut ties with people because of that. Because I understand that my life is not worth it. It's not worth it for me to bring myself down just to fit in with other people. and. And so therefore, if a friend doesn't really support me or a friend says mean comments or a friend blah, 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 like I'm not afraid to find a new friend, right? And think about this. Everyone wants to help you. Everyone wants to, wants to um, make you feel better about yourself, right? Because it gives them the chance to be like, oh, hey, I'm better than this person. Like I'm more powerful than this person, so let me help them, right? And so that's why like misery loves company, right? And it makes more of a friendship like think about this like it's more of a friend when your friend is someone who's doing not as well as you and is cheering you on no matter what and those are the kind of friends that comes to your rescue there you go um, those are the kind of friends that you want to keep those are the friends that are harder to keep because it's harder to cheer someone on who's doing better than you right it fucks with our ego makes us crazy um, it makes us really think about our lives and so those are the kind of friendships if your friends are not doing that for you then they're not real friends and that's like that's where I'm at with my life right and let's see what else I put in here Oh, so self-sabotage is when you stoop back down to your peers level. So those people who start a business, they're on their journey to greatness, they're blah, 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 doing whatever, and all of a sudden their friends are like, ah, uh, like we don't like that, blah, 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 and then you start feeling like you're not part of that group anymore, so you just drop your business, you start sabotaging your success, you start making less money just so you can fit in with those people. And that's the definition of self-sabotage, at least in my opinion, and also this really great um, video that Amber shared in this group about this guy who talked about this principle that I came to conclusion by myself like a couple years ago and that's like the start of me really being choosy with who I surround myself with and that's why I love online because you can choose who to interact with online you have access to amazing people that's why I have this group is because we can be choosy with the high vibe people that we put in this group right so number two wow that was number one okay it's already 806 okay I can do this. It's whatever. It's whatever if I'm late today. <laughs> okay, you're going to be really uncomfortable 90% of the time. Like, really uncomfortable, scared shitless, freaking out 90% of the time. Okay, maybe not 90, but I literally have a panic attack at least once a week about my business. I freak out at least once a day. Okay, something happens. I am, um, I come across another investment I need to make, something doesn't go right, 
blah 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 like there is so much uncertainty in the path to up leveling becoming successful and living up to your potential that uncertainty is something that you have to accept like being uncomfortable all the time is just something that you have to accept as your norm right and i'm kind of like if i'm not growing if i'm not being pushed if i'm not like you know feeling uncomfortable i feel like i'm not making progress so i have decided that this uncertainty is going to be my sign that I'm making progress, right? So, and here's the thing. A lot of people look at this and they're like, well, Catherine, like if you're freaking out 90% of the time, are you, uh, does this mean that you're not aligned with your goal? You know, and so we get into this whole manifestation talk. But here's the thing. Energetically, I'm 1000% aligned, right? And my life is proving it because my life is improving. Even though I panic all the time, I'm uncomfortable, I freak out. Things are getting better. I'm always one step ahead every single week than the step before, right? And so I'm 1000% energetically behind what I'm doing, behind my goal. I see my vision, I see it clearly, I am going in the direction of my dreams. However, the reason why anxiety hits, the reason why you freak out, the reason why you go crazy is because your ego does not see your fucking vision. It's your ego that's like blind and just kind of seeing the day-to-day -day, um, interactions and the day-to-day -day motion is like, girl, what the fuck are you doing? Are you sure you have that much money? Like, who did you just hire? Like, what are you doing? Like, why are they doing that? And so your ego just goes crazy. And so your higher self is seeing the vision. Like, hey, I want to start a business. I want to um, have millions of followers. I want to be on stage. I want to influence people. I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to write a book like your higher self is seeing that but your ego is not your ego is blind to it right and so your ego is making you freak out and so I tell my ego to shut the fuck up on a daily basis <laughs> like shut the hell up it's whatever and I will do it through many different ways right I'll tap yesterday I was driving from uh, work on my lunch break to do an errand for my grandma because she's um, out of the state and she had like cable boxes at her apartment that I had to return since my whole family lives in LA like I do errands for them I guess and um, I was just helping her out and um, my ego just started talking like crazy like oh my god what if this doesn't work what if blah, 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 blah. and i just started tapping um i know some people like lisa taught me to have a rubber band around my wrist and to pull it and literally say switch words like it's a sales tactic from from like way before or something um basically saying pull purge no pull purge cancel delete right pull purge cancel delete and it just helps your ego shut the fuck up and or if it's meditating or whatever like these tools that you come across in the personal development world in the self-help world are to help your ego shut the fuck up because your higher self knows better so if you have a desire to do something it's because your higher self knows where you're going it knows you're aligned it knows that that's the right path but your ego doesn't and so you just have to your goal every day is like tell your ego to shut the fuck up tell your ego to shut the fuck up like shut the fuck up ego that's like the goal every day okay so, and then number three, yeah, your ego is trying to protect you from the unknown every single day. Tapping is the best dress. I'm ignoring com uh, comments today just because I have so much to talk about, but I'll get back to them. Um, you're going to have to take risks in order to see result rewards or results, okay? So, a lot of people are risk averse. And that's okay because, again, your ego is very, very risk averse, right? Your higher self is totally fine with risk because if the risk is involved with the path of where you want to go, great. But your ego doesn't know what's going on, so therefore it's very risk averse. But on this journey to greatness, on this journey of up-leveling your life, becoming the best version of yourself, doing a whole 180 of your life and going from broke to rich, or unknown to known or whatever your goals are right there are so many risks that you need to take right there's the risk of spending money that you don't know where it's gonna come from right I have so many people their number one objection is I don't have the money I'm broke I'm doing this blah blah blah, blah. like I don't know where it's gonna come from and I'm always like yeah I understand just tell your ego to shut the fuck up though because when you really think about it, like your higher self, the reason why you even came across this investment is because it's here for a reason. If you came across a coach that you are just dying to hire, like your higher self is looking at this coach like, 
hire her, like just fucking hire her or enroll in this course or do this certification or whatever or pay for this or do that and your ego is like, I don't understand where, you know, how are you going to find the money, blah, 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 blah. And so you have to know that there are risks involved and there are lots of times when I, especially when I hired my first coach, um, back in early 2016, I paid $2,000 for, for a coach when I was making $400. That was more than I was making in a month, okay? I had no idea how the fuck I was gonna afford it, but the, I came across her for a reason, and my higher self told me this for a reason, and so therefore I went for it. And every time I've taken a risk financially, and so there's other risks involved, right? But financially especially is the scariest because we are so programmed to think that money is a limited resource and that it's gonna run out and it's never gonna come back, but that's such bullshit. It always comes back, it never runs out, and it's fucking unlimited. So that's like a bunch of bullshit, but our ego doesn't see that. And so every time I'm taking a risk, the universe has never let me fall flat on my face. Here's the magic that happens. Every time I have put down thousands of dollars on the table and be like, you know what, I need to hire this person, I need to do this, I need to, fly here for this reason or blah, 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 blah. The money always comes like right after. Like every time I've made an investment, my sales that day would increase out of nowhere. Like I would make that money back plus more. It's like the universe is gonna give you a confirmation like, hey, like I know that your higher self knows that you're gonna be okay, but just in case, let me give you another sign that you're gonna be okay. That is a great investment, congratulations. Here's some money, now you feel better, let's move on, right? But before you take that risk, you don't get that confirmation, so therefore you never know. But I'm just letting you know that the universe has never let me fall flat on my face. In fact, it's only pushed me forward and upward, right? Money always comes, and some people don't even start manifesting money until they make their first investment. Because that's kind of like, you know, what is faith? Faith is believing in the unseen, the unknown, right? And faith, does it really even matter if we can predict everything? If we're just gonna sit here small and be afraid of everything? Faith matters most when we don't know what's gonna happen, when, we, and when it looks like it's not gonna happen, when it looks like we're gonna fail, that's when faith truly matters, right? And so it's just truly about having faith and it's kind of learning to trust the universe, that the universe is trying to teach you when you're making this investment. And other risks that you're gonna have to take is networking with other people, like introverts in here. We hate networking, we hate talking to people, but <laughs> like you have to, you have to put yourself out there. It's putting yourself out there with the risk of people not liking you, okay? I know, and you know, I'm very like fortunate, very blessed that I have yet to receive a, an angry email or an angry comment or something, but I know that I'm not everyone's cup of tea, right? Like that's just, we can't please everyone and anyone, right? But. You have to continue to put yourself out there because for every person that hates you or doesn't like you or doesn't like your messaging, there's also going to be hundreds of thousands who do, okay? So if you're willing to get over one hater in order to receive, you know, hundreds to thousands to hundreds of thousands of people who just truly love you and love your message, love who you are, that's the risk you have to take. You have to take that risk of being hated, not liked, saying something wrong. Um, I used to always be afraid to put my voice, like going live on Facebook scared the shit out of me because I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna have to talk. Like what if I stumble over my words? Guess what, I fucking forgot the word rescue today. Like who does that? And it's totally fine, you know? Like I know that my life is gonna move on, right? So. And you know, going live on Facebook is a risk and just you have to be seen in order to impact other people and you just have to keep taking risks. So I'm not gonna keep talking about this one because you guys get my point. Number four is you will face opposition and that opposition is for you to grow. So here's the thing, every single day, every week, at least once a month, definitely once a year, you're gonna come across some sort of failure, okay? Um, for instance, <laughs> uh, Team MB, Karina, her fiance, and everyone who works for her company, we are coming across lots of failures with the tech side of things, right? So Mercury Retrograde is here to fuck with us. And um, there's all these like little failures that happen every single day. There's always like something that's gonna oppose what you're trying to do, but 
These are not signs to give up. And here's the biggest mistake I see with people, especially in manifesting. I see people, they work on manifesting the love of their life or more money or whatever. They work on a rent, uh, starting a business and their goal is to make a 10K month, right? That was always my first big goal. Like I just wanna make a 10 fucking K month, like please. And let me tell you, that took me at least uh, a whole year to do. And I faced so much opposition, and it never looked like it was gonna come, never looked like it was gonna happen, but guess what it did. And life will throw things at you, not because you don't deserve your desire or that you're incapable of getting there, it's to help you grow because that next level of you is that version of you who has experienced that growth, who has experienced the lessons that you needed to know in order to get there. That better you is a wiser you. That up-leveled you is a, is a wiser, smarter, experienced you. But how do you experience these things? You can't really learn lessons if everything goes perfectly all the time. And so that's why life throws you opposition. And people think that this is a sign that the universe doesn't want you to achieve this goal. Here are my signs, so here's the difference. And I know this is probably on the Q&A for tomorrow, which I'm really excited about, but here's the main difference. Being aligned with your goal is, okay, so if you, uh, okay, so signs of actually like you not being aligned with your goal or you probably should let it go is only if that goal doesn't excite you. Only if that goal just makes you like dread your life. Like, I don't really want to do that anymore, right? That is all self and all internal and all your inner guidance just being like, man, there's better things out there for you. That might be a sign to be like, you know what? Let's just drop that one and let's move on to the next one. Let's find something that fucking excites us. And then, but people mistake, you know, they're reaching for a goal. They're really excited about the main vision. They, they see everything. They have their vision, but something comes up, something falls apart, their car breaks down, um, just shit happens. And they think that that's the sign that the universe is giving them for some reason that they need to give up, that that goal is not meant for them. And that's a huge mistake because opposition is usually a sign that you're on the right path because if you didn't receive opposition, you're not gonna grow. And growth is usually the path to that next level. Does that make sense? So, um, and, and like I mentioned before, having faith is so crucial. Like no matter what shit is going on, and let me tell you, shit has happened the last year. Like just so, like I remember crying myself to sleep many nights, um, definitely. Uh, there's like all kinds of opposition where I was the breadwinner for six months of the last year. So, um, because my boyfriend had such a hard time finding a job um, that thankfully he has found to this day and he absolutely loves. I've cried myself to sleep. I hit my own car, like completely destroyed the right side of my car at my grandma's house visiting her, myself driving into a wall and I'm actually getting it fixed. 11-11, um, yay. Um, I actually got it, I'm actually getting it fixed tomorrow or today, like while I'm in Punta Cana, I'm taking my car to the shop to finally get that shit fixed. But at the time, like $1,400 to fix my door was like crazy shit, right? Like no way. And so I've been driving around with a destroyed side of my, uh, right side of my car. And um, my website disappeared for an hour. Like Bluehost literally told me, it seems like you never, your website never existed. And this is the day before Digital Course Babe went live. So that fucking sucked. Um, I can go on and on and on. Like as more things come to me, I'd love to share you all the shit I went through in the last year. But guess what? I don't focus on that. Those are just blip, like blips or bleeps, whatever you say, in my past. I, it doesn't even affect me anymore. And I am so glad they all happened because I am so much stronger now. And I know that the next time shit hits the fan, I'm still going to get through it, right? It's not going to be as scary as I ever like thought it would. And then my last point is if you have a desire to succeed, you will succeed as long as you're persistent, perseverant, and consistent. So some people get into this mode where they think that the desires of their heart, which could be to start a business, marry someone, um, be up on stage, write a book, um, whatever, you know, whatever you relate to, 
whatever you want to achieve they think that the like god the universe whatever they believe in put that shit into their heart and gave them that desire just to fuck with them <laughs> that's gonna be further from the truth like if you want to do something you have a mission to do it you have everything within you to manifest it to bring it to rea your reality there are no guarantees that you won't take scary risks there are no guarantees that it's gonna come the very next day there are just no guarantees of the the when, the where, and the how. Those are the guarantees that you cannot control because that's up to the universe. You can only know the what and the why. What do you want? Why do you want it? What do you want? Why do you want it? And just focusing on that. And, and they think like, you know, they don't really understand that the desires are put in their heart for a reason, okay? But they were put there for a reason. And so you have to do everything in your power to stay the course, to see the big vision, tell your ego to shut the fuck up every day and just keep going. And what I wrote here all the time is like, it's not the universe, it's circumstances that we can't control will test how bad we want it all the time. Like Mercury retrograde, right? We can't control it, it fucks with us. Tech has been going wild. Like I don't even know what's going on. Like things aren't saving, things are disappearing whatever but that's not like the universe telling me you know Catherine you should just shut down manifestation babe like it's not gonna work anyway no <laughs> not at all right that just sounds so stupid and so really knowing that the universe has your back the entire fucking way the universe is standing behind you once you have a desire once you have that vision first of all the universe gave you that desire and vision so of course it's gonna stand behind you and it's gonna get you through anything and when you face opposition when you are given signs of giving up or whatever bullshit you come across just know that that is not coming from the universe that is not coming from your higher self that's coming from your ego and that's just coming from whatever circumstances you can't control and so just really being consistent persistent and perseverant through anything will get you to that next level will help you up level be successful and absolutely radically transform your life all right, babes, I love you so much. I believe Rich Babe is officially sold out. I've had, um, I'm pretty sure ten, all 10 spots are taken now, so that's really, really exciting. Um, but if you guys want to learn more about manifesting in the meantime, if you want to up-level your life in any way, if you want to start a business, learn how to create digital courses, take your Instagram to the next level, start making five figures a month from Instagram, I have courses for you. I have tons of goodies on my website, tons of freebies that you can download. Um, working on things with my team behind the scenes on putting all my freebies all my ebooks all my things in one one page of my of my website and creating kind of a resource library where you can just log in to one page and just access and download all the goodies from one place and therefore you're not getting a million emails and a million different pages on my website so we're working on that um, I have tons of free stuff on my website I'm not a big blogger, but if you like to read what I write, you know, you can go on my Instagram. That's mainly where I write my things. And yeah, you can find more of me on manifestationbabe.com. And if you guys want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, I have one spot for a client right now. Um, just recently booked another client, so I have enough energy for one more client so if you guys are interested in working with me one-on-one -on -one and literally having like full-blown access to me and me helping you up level your life and reach that next level whether it's with your business or um, your mindset or just life in general whatever you're struggling with like I can help you and I can we can work through limiting beliefs together we can create a plan of attack um, I really love to bring in my real talk with all the spiritual principles together in my coaching sessions just as I do on these live talks and everything else, okay? Alright babes, have a beautiful Tuesday. Yes, it's Tuesday. Um, yeah, I love you and I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye!